This video will cover the topic, Using Trigonometry to Find a Length in a Word Problem with One Right Triangle. Before we begin, let's review some of the fundamental trigonometric identities. Say we have a right triangle with sides x, y, and r. If we look at angle theta, we know that sine of theta equals y over r, cosine of theta equals x over r, and tangent theta equals y over x. So we will need to know these identities in order to solve word problems? We will. Using these identities, we can solve word problems in which we are given the length of one side and the angle of elevation, and asked to solve for the length of a missing side. Let's take a look at an example problem. A 14-foot ladder leans against the side of a house. The angle of elevation of the ladder is 63 degrees. So let's first identify the parts of the triangle that we know. We are given that the hypotenuse equals 14, and theta equals 63 degrees. Now, let's say we're asked to find the height from the top of the ladder to the ground. This means we want to know the length of the vertical side. Let's label this y. With the information we have, which trig equation do you think we should use to solve for our missing side? Well, since we are given the length of the hypotenuse and the measure of an angle, and we want to find the length of the opposite side of the given angle, we should set up a sine equation, right? That's right. We know that sine theta equals y over r. We can substitute in our known values and solve for y. Using our calculator, we see that the height from the top of the ladder to the ground is approximately 12.5 feet. Okay, so what if we were asked to find the length from the bottom of the ladder to the base of the building? Good question. Let's label that side x. Since we now know a second side, there are actually two ways we could solve this. We could set up a cosine equation relating the hypotenuse, angle, and the side adjacent to the angle, or we could set up a tangent equation relating the angle, the side opposite the angle, and the side adjacent to the angle. If we substitute in our known values and solve for x, we see that using either equation, we obtain a result of x equals approximately 6.4. Okay, so to find the length in the word problem with one right triangle, I can use the information given to determine which trigonometric equation I should use. I can then substitute the known values into my equation and solve for the length. That's exactly right. Great work. 